Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome back to another episode of Deep Web Browsing. Dank Web Browsing, whatever you call it, episode number 20. Every Sunday we go on the adventurous trip that is a deep web, see what we can find and see what we come across. And that being said, I'm not going to keep it here for too long. What are we going to find? I don't know. I don't even know the theme of it really until I come across stuff. And, uh, you know, from my usual spelunking, sometimes I look some stuff up, but usually it's pretty free-handed. That being said... What is the first website? Well, sit back, relax, and see what lies in our very first website this episode of Dank Web Browsing. Okay, this is the World Porn Movement. I shit you not, this is a real thing. Now, of course, one of the most important things about the deep web is that it actually prevents a lot of, you know, governments from censoring you, right? Like, for example, if you visit certain parts of the world, um, the government does, in fact, put censors over the Internet. You know, when I've been to places uh, such as Saudi Arabia, for example, when I was down there, the Internet was heavily controlled and heavily blocked. Um, and so I couldn't access many things. Mind you, I wasn't looking for pornography or anything like that, just general usage over on Google. And I found out that the version of Google that I used over there was very, 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 very censored to the point that anything against, you know, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, wasn't really allowed. So over here, a bunch of deep webbers have made the world porn movement. And I'm not going to lie, all right? It's kind of fucking... It's funny when you come across it, but then you see the importance of it. Now over here, uh, these are actually fan fictions that have been written down. And I believe from the top, uh, the way Contact is written, I assume the person who's written this is in German. Is, oh, you see Leaped over there. So it's it's most likely somebody from Germany. So, of course, you can see over these are all, like, stories. So you got the Amsterdam Affair. First of all, let's look at all the top, okay? You got the title. Then you got the author, okay? You got Annie the Slick, Richard Bizzle, Jen L. Lee, Jen, Jen Lee, Dark Town Gunslinger, The Grinch. And then you got, like, the date when it was written, right? So sometimes it's weird because, like, TTMMJJJ, uh, I assume that's, like, the date they can't find. But sometimes they'll fill it with, like, the year, such as 2010. And they'll have, like, story codes. So I'm going to read these story codes out, okay? This one's got a lot. So it's got MDOM F13, which I assume is male domination, M plus F, MF, M plus M. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the plus means. So I have no idea. If somebody could explain that, that would be much appreciated. They're like Veal, Oral, Anal, BD, what the fuck is tort, rapes, PS, Sat, Pret? Fuck up. You're going to stick a pretzel up someone's ass? Young Bible Scat Team Con Inc. NC for look long bet. I don't even know, dude. Some of these probably sound borderline fucking illegal. So we're gonna find someone that. Oh, what is this? Dog slash F F F Final Fantasy bet. What? Master Chief is in the son of a bitch, man. What the fuck? Okay, here's break. Dude, these are really fucked up names, dude. Brooks Two Mistresses. Apparently that has humiliation or something. What the fuck? You know, I guess this is why they have a whole porn movement, because some of this shit, man. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at this. It's like, Les Teen Scat High School, which is Mandy and Shelly. And apparently that, I don't know what that, like, like pan with the fireways come from, but apparently it's, like, probably got to be super fucking hot. And am I going to click on one? I'd be doing you all an injustice if I didn't, so I'm going to find one. Yeah, here we go. Let's find The Naughty School Nurse by Billy69Boy. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The story was dynamically reformatted for online reading convenience. Oh, boy. Okay, all right. We're going to read this. Don't sit down. How long is this show? Oh, it's pretty fucking long, dude. Uh, after the last school bell rang, I sat in my office wondering what might happen next. I had earlier spoken to one of my best friends about Nicole's situation, which she agreed to help me evaluate Nicole and the issue of reporting her parents to the authorities due to their extreme treatment of her. Of her. I was, okay, alright, it's getting pretty fanfic. What the fuck? Well, Nicole, is it okay if, if Coach Gorilla Tits helps me evaluate your situation? Of course, Brenda. I think she is so hot. Wait. Coach Gorilla Tits? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look a little more now. Okay. Hold on. What is this? Do you like feeling my tongue licking your nurse? Bro? Oh, my God. Oh, yes, Nicole. Don't stop. Suck my... Oh, my Lord. What are we going into? Oh, here's one with uh, 
Here, here, here's one we're finding with fucking g- 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 gorilla tits. She didn't have a beautiful set of gorilla tits. <laughs> oh, I bet she did, didn't she? After class was let out, Nicole knocked on my door and entered confidently. She seemed rather re- self-reassured. Good afternoon, Nicole. How was your day? Nowhere near as exciting as my afternoon was yesterday, she explained, grinning from ear to ear. I actually felt myself blushing. Oh, wait, we're fucking Nicole. Okay. Well, yes, yesterday was a very special afternoon, I will admit. But today will be a different and much more serious. As you know, Coach Gilchrist and I are going to evaluate your situation with your parents. Uh, We will have no choice but to present our findings to the authorities. Um, This is very serious. Uh, What should I do? How should I act? Don't you worry, honey. Just be... What the fuck is this? What? (laughs) What the fuck am I reading? Are you serious? By now, my pussy was already trembling and my legs were shaking with lust. I took some petroleum... All right, we're done. We're fucking done. As soon as as the petroleum jelly was brought up, man, we are... We are hell-bent on getting out. This is a whole lot of nose. All right? Fuck this nonsense, dude. Fuck it. No, no Billy69, boy. Okay, what the fuck is this? Panty pooping, public nudity, exhibitionism, voyeurism, humiliation, vomit, demon? What? Okay, so this is a... This is kind of interesting. Yes, this is a FBI document, apparently, on Hitler's hideout, apparently, on the escape of Hitler somehow. Now, apparently, it's a report made in Los Angeles. Uh, When was it made? 9-21-1945. Um, Period from which made, I don't know how that works, report made by, you don't get to see that. The title is Report on Hitler Hideout. Character of... I don't know, the security ladder G. I have no idea what that is because I don't work for the feds. Now, synopsis of facts. Reports contact with phonetic. Oh, I assume that's like a contact. Claims to have aided six top Argentine officials in hiding Adolf Hitler upon his landing by submarine in Argentina. Hitler reported to be hiding out in foot in foothills of southern Andes. Information obtained by blank from blank, unable to verify because of blank disappearance, attempted to locate no record of him in police or INF, INS files. Reference. Now, this is just a report sent to the feds. I don't think this is like actually them doing anything. Uh, but they have a Los Angeles letter to Bureau. Hollywood, California, blank, reported to a blank on the city desk of Los Angeles Examiner newspaper upon leaving the Melody Lane restaurant at Hollywood in Vine on or about July 28, 1945. He met a friend of his at the time engaged in a conversation with an individual who later identified himself as blank, phonetic name, a blank friend whose identity he does not want to wish to disclose because of reasons that will later be explained, remarked to that he would like to have him meet blank, as it was quite evident that Blank had a problem in his mind. Continue that after being introduced, Blank, a friend, left and spent several hours with Blank and obtained the following information. Disclosed to Blank that he would that he'd be wished to find some high government official who would guarantee his immunity from being sent back to Argentina if he told him the following information. According to Blank, he was one of four men who met Hitler and his party when they landed from two submarines in Argentina approximately two and a half weeks after the fall of Berlin. Blank continued that the first sub came close to shore about 11 p.m. after it had been signaled that it was safe to land from a doctor, and a doctor and several men disembarked. Approximately two hours later, the second sub came ashore and Hitler, two women, another doctor, and several more men, making the whole party arrive. Making the whole party arrive by submarine approximately 50 were aboard. By prearranged plan with six top Argentine officials, Argentina officials, Hack horses were waiting for the group, and by daylight, all supplies were loaded on the horses, and an all-day trip inland towards the foothills of the southern Andes was started. No. Hitler gave $15,000 for helping in the deal, explained that he was hiding out in the United States so that he could later tell how he got out of Argentina. The stated that he would tell his story to the U.S. officials after Hitler's capture, so that they might keep him from having to return to Argentina. He further explained to Blank that the matter was weighing on his mind, and that he did not wish to be mixed up in the business any further. According to Blank, Hitler is suffering from asthma and ulcers, has shaved off his mustache, and has a long butt on his upper lip. Gave directions, you will go to a hotel in San Antonio, Argentina, 
Arrange for a man to meet you there and locate the ranch where Hitler is. It is heavily guarded, of course, and you will be risking your life to go there. If you do go to Argentina, place an ad in the examiner stating, Call Hemp uh, Hempstead 8458, and I know that you are on the way to San Antonio. No. Apparently they have somebody named Jack. Jack advised that while he was sitting and eating at his table at his Melody Laid restaurant, okay, and as we go on through, it's like hundreds upon hundreds of pages for this shit. There's got to be more to this. Nazi envoy says Hitler's still alive. That was from Paris, October 27. And this is like a note that was written. I don't know who the fuck that could be from. No. Oh, shit. John Edgar Hoover. That's from the fucking director. That, that, was, from, that was from Edgar Hoover, one of the most prominent FBI directors ever. No fucking way. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, dude. What is this? Hold on. Certi Adolf Hitler, Certificate of Marriage, Private Will, and Political Testament. This is transmitted within the laboratory progress of the document analysis of the above papers for MIS. These papers were, when received, mounted on cardboard pages of a leather binder. Dude, there was something shifty going on with that, man. What the fuck? You look at this, a site that looks like it was made in 1995, apparently has been updated 10-30-2015. Ladies and gentlemen, this is apparently Great Dreams or something like that. Now, it was actually, I actually scrolled to the bottom of the page before I even started reading on it, this person was featured in a New York Time uh, article in 1998. Which, hey, it's pretty impressive, I gotta say. That's pretty cool. But if we look around, this guy's just got, like, conspiracy under conspiracy. So if we're starting from the top, we have what appears to be the most recent information. So we're going to look through some of this. He has something about chemtrails. And let me just open that up. Uh, give the photos a little time to load. Apparently he has, like, tails on, like, chemical, like... Wow, chemical tail. He has like like look at all these pictures over stuff. He has basically a bunch of uh pictures that he's taken on the chemtrails conspiracy. We actually uh, talked about this a little bit on another deep web video, and here's how a whole plane is dispersing uh chemtrails. It seems like this was actually taken over at Flagstaff, uh, Arizona, by the way. Um, pretty cool place actually. And uh, what the fuck is this? Germany becomes the first country to admit clandestine chemtrails operations. For all those activists who've been investigating and reporting on clandestine government operations around the world to manipulate our weather patterns, this news from Germany is groundbreaking. The TV news report states that the military planes of the German Federal Army are manipulating our climate. This is what the weather researchers are presuming, and their suspicions are confirmed. We can state with a 97% certainty that we have our hands that we have on our hands chemical trails. Chemtrails comprised by the fine dust containing polymers and metals used to disrupt radar signals. That this is their main purpose. But I was surprised that this artificial cloud was so widespread. The radar images are stunning considering the needed tons of dispersed elements. Although the fed Federal Army claims only the only small amounts of material were propagated, the military heads claim that the substance used are not harmful. In the United States of America, there are protests after protests for many years now against these military operations, and now people are mobilizing in Germany as well. For example, Johannes Remmel of the Greens... It's obvious the enormous regions are being polluted with clandestine actions, but all of this has to be made public. The government must provide explanations to the unsuspecting population. So yeah, over here you see like chemtrail clouds just being spread around, and apparently it's used to uh, kill radar communications and whatnot. Um, why the government wants to do that, I really don't know. They have like a whole bunch of stuff from like Utah and stuff happening, you know, in like Salt Lake City. Uh, phenomenons around the entire United States and some around globally internationally. I look up over here, like, look at this fucking shit. Oh my god. Um, all of these, and these people are just archiving it and saving it over here, too. Uh, if you look around, he also has stuff on Planet X, which is supposed to come March 2016. It will last a long time with much damage to the Earth. Start preparing now. Oh boy. Two weeks ago, I was warned that I probably was going to die, and then an angel came and laid his hand on my shoulder and said, Experience is learning. Then, 7-5-15, I had this dream this morning. 7 5 15, dream, I seem to be in the basement of the company where I worked for 11 years, AC. I knew something bad was going to happen, but I wasn't certain what it was, and I wanted to go home before it started. Whatever it was, I couldn't find my way out of the basement, though. So I hollered to a woman, which way is it to the elevator? 
She pointed to a corridor that went left ahead of me. I had to go through a doorway to the next corridor, and when I did, I was facing 10 to 12 Chinese people. The very second I saw them, fear came over their faces as they were looking at something written on the wall over my head. The fear on the faces of Chinese people made me afraid. I forced myself awake because I was too afraid to turn around and look to see what they were written on my head. 7715 Meditation Voice, the object that is coming is coming from the Pentecostal South American skies. I think that means the Southern Cross, which was uh, mentioned in another meditation recently. Or this crop circle appeared. Okay, on 72515, this crop circle appeared in ink. Hold on a second. The alien found in a Russian nuclear power plant is not an alien, guys? Well, no shit. I didn't even read the article. I don't know. That ain't a fact. All right, so apparently this is uh, this is like this giant conspiracy site this guy has made. Uh, apparently some of them is outing the government with like Benghazi and all that other shit. Is Super Blood Moon last of the Tetrad in Jerusalem? I don't know. Pope Frank, okay. All right, we go from Planet X to all the way over here. It's obvious that this is some, uh, this is, this is like an extension of the whole like nuclear like theories that we had last time. This is just like an entire site based on it. So, what do I gotta say, man? I don't know. Believe what you want to believe over here. God damn, dude. Some of this stuff is... It's pretty out there, I'll say that much. That being said, though, we gotta find other sites in our entire look. So I'm gonna go look through some of these. Uh, apparently that was uh, some kind of an alien that was found in Russia. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's not an alien. It, it really isn't. Apparently, uh, comments from Russian biologist says he's taken out of context... Uh, what is this? Not every biologist has encyclopedic knowledge of every organism that might conceivably show up in their town, even to the barely trained eye. It looks fairly embryonic. In other words, it's not sure of chicken embryo or something of that nature. Who knows? Maybe it's a new species. A whopping average of 15,000 new species are discovered each year. Granted, most of these are insects and bacteria and other things more likely to escape notice than a weird winged thing in Russia. But it could happen. And it's a lot more likely than aliens. Well, I gotta admit there, man. Apparently that... That, that kind of looks like a fucking squid, you know what I mean? Like like a fucking squid and a, I, I guess a turtle combined? I don't know, dude. I, just, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying over here. But Rachel Feltman, you were very right. It's probably not an alien. Hell no, it can't be an alien. Good job. Good job. Thank you to a Russian uh, bi biologer, man. They took his words out of context, but I'm glad to see it wasn't in the end of the day. Anyways, let's look at the next website, man. This guy's... This guy should just dream on, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Shadowlands. Now, a lot of people have liked it when I browse some pretty dank stuff. Hold on, let me actually uh, fix something here on the recording front. Yes. People actually liked it when I came across some really uh, dank conspiracy stuff on uh, the deep web. And here I have a website called The Shadowlands. Now, the Shadowlands, since 1994, has been dedicating to informing the enlightened visitors on such topics as ghosts and hauntings, mysterious creatures such as Bigfoot and sea serpents, UFOs and aliens, and many other unsolved mysteries. We have provided general information on some subjects and a bit more in-depth info on others, as my time and experience allows. If you read these pages with an open mind, you should come away with a better understanding of these mysteries. While all these subjects are laughed at or frowned upon by many, we challenge you at least take our time to decide for yourself. We have included text files, videos, sounds, pictures, eyewitness accounts, and more on the pages that follow. We are always adding new information and update various pages on a monthly basis. We have also created new pages to visit when you need a break from the norm or the studies here. There is something for everybody here, so take the time to look around the Shadowlands and stop back often. There is also something new. Thanks, Dave Hoot Giuliano and Tina Carlson. Well, thank you. Now, it was updated 6613, and they said we are still alive. Um, it is 2015 now. Um, I don't think they're very alive, but, you know, who knows? Uh, it says 19th year online. Um, if they were still alive, it'd be 21. So let's click on Ghosts and Hauntings. Now, this is a... Uh, oh, wow, they actually do have a bunch of pictures. This is like classic... Classic, classic stuff. Now, Shadowlands Ghost and Haunting Pages, the Internet's original ghost website, as they have stated. We have assisted thousands of people through this website alone. We have also educated the general public and ghost hunters from the point of view of researchers as well as that of someone who's experienced things they do not understand. This page is a place where you can get information, comfort, and help. Dave Juliano and Tina Carlson. Need help? Want something to look for? 
Now, around over here, oh wait, they got like the top site apparently, they got like a review or some shit like that. Well, no reviews yet, basically, but you can review it. Now, it has about 70, ooh, damn, they have uh, they have quite a fair bit of uh, showcase here, nice, congratulations, guys. Um, yeah, let me see if that's like an actual re-updating tally. Eh. Oh, wow, no, actually, in the time that I was reading this, somebody else actually checked it, too, which is pretty nice. Now, they have a couple photos over here. It doesn't work, but they... Ooh! Oh, that was fucking scary. <laughs> I did not expect it to do that. Hold on, let me download the file. I'm on my uh, Linux distro, and I can actually check uh, what the file is. So, let me go to downloads. Oh, there are no downloads, in fact. Um, ooh. All right, give me a second. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. Can't see the menu at the top of the page. Uh, apparently, it's like a bunch of send your stories. So yeah, I want to try downloading the fucker. Um, oh yeah, no, it's just a mail too. So you can mail to Tina Carlson at the Shadownets. Uh, Shadowlands.net. So it's just an email website. Universal Life Church Seminary. What is this? And they have like a radio thing going on too. Uh, I don't know how this is like a like. I don't know how this is like anywhere helpful because I don't see much anyways. It's just you got like links to uh, ghost research in South Jersey. You have this hope and faith section, Las Vegas Society Supernatural Investigation. Okay, here we go. True stories. Let's see true stories. This is what it is. So it's like a it's pretty it's a pretty uh, vintage style site. Let's be honest here. Uh, ghost. Oh wow, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> we found the in we found the original internet creepypastas. Dude, I'm gonna have to so read some of these on Haunted Gaming, dude. Let me be honest here. So, 7 1 1998 is Walmart. Oh, boys. All right. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Cat. I used to work at Walmart in Wareham, Mass. One morning, I went into work about 5 30. <laughs> Can't believe it. You know, sometimes I'm on YouTube and I see those like deep web horror stories. I guess this is where like they're found, right? Or something. All right, anyways. <clears throat> One morning, I wanted to work about 5 30 a.m. to open the snack bar. I was walking back from clocking in and turned around for some reason, then I noticed just a head. The face of the person was the only thing I could see. I thought it was one of my friends playing a joke on me, but no one was around. Uh, I walked away for about two seconds, and then I walked back to where I was, and the face was gone. On that same day, I was sitting in the back of the snack bar doing my college, Hom Rock. Because the store wasn't that busy that day, I shut, the, I shut off the lights in the back room so I would not waste electricity. And I looked up for one second and saw a very bright light. Yes, the lights were still off. Then when I looked up, the bright light was gone. That was Cat's Horror Story. And if we look around, you got the Haunted Railroad Tracks. Um, pictures coming very soon. I have them now, I just have to find them. Well, it's been a decade plus, and actually, when was that story written? Uh, it's pretty, pretty long ago, I'm going to assume. And it's, uh, yeah, it's been over a decade. Don't worry about finding those... Uh, about those pictures anytime soon. Recording on a laptop computer, he captured a whispering male voice that says, Get back. Hmm. Listen to these. Yeah, I heard it right there. Okay. Alright, these EVPs are not... Well, they're, they're actually real. These EVPs are, in fact, real, you know. Oh, computer crash over there. Holy crap. Uh, well, we are uh, back to this whole thing. In fact, let me see if I look real carefully. There's actually uh, photos and videos. Let me see some. Let's let's see let's see some videos, boys. Let's go look at that. All right, what is this? The bright orb appears in the center. Oh, they're just orbs and stuff. Uh, okay, wait. What is this? Br a bright anomaly flying quickly across the screen near the end of the clip. All right, you know what? We'll we'll watch this MPEG clip. I swear to God, if you assault my fucking ears one more time. Oh, wait, fuck, in, in, give, give it a second, Need, needs to fucking get his shit up. Oh. So around the end of it, we should see something that pops up, actually. Okay, did not see fuck all and all that. Give me one second. Play pause. Wait. Quit that. Hold on. Eh, quit. Okay, try that again. Download file, yes. Obviously. Okay, we should see an orb flying around. Oh, yeah, I saw it. It just flew right from there to there. Okay. 
I can't like bring it back, unfortunately, because the fucking uh, because the player gets really glitchy up in this Linux OS. Wait, no, I think I can actually. Wait up. Okay, wait a minute. We have to probably stop the whole video. So, uh, just get backwards. No, play. Yeah, we're not going to be able to watch this one again. Fuck that nonsense. It's going to take way too long. But here we got one that zigzags across the room. So let me see that. And then I think that'll be all for the videos this time. Because uh, it's kind of glitchy playing them in Linux. And I don't want to copy. Holy fuck, she scared the piss out of me. Okay, that's the orb, dude. That lady walking there just fucking scared me shitless, dude. My sphincter fucking... Look at her, dude. Like, the first time you look at that, it's fucking scary as shit. Now, that's from March 10, 2001. Damn, man fucking dude let's do it let's honest to god like maybe i'm gonna make a video one day where i'm just gonna do a ghost investigation anyway view ex-president jimmy carter ufo sighting report no wait name jimmy wait a minute what hold on jimmy carter capital state atlanta governor uh graduate nuclear physics u.s navy uh october 1969 larry georgia 10 to 12 okay so 10 to 12 hours he saw it okay uh, shortly after dark, position not in sight. If seen at night, twilight dawn. Wait, who is this from? Aerial phenomenon, NICAP. All right. If so, compare the brightness at one time as bright as the moon. Did the objects appear to stand still at any time? Yes. Change brightness? Yes. Change shape, size, change color? Yes. Seem to move towards us from a distance? <laughs> no way, dude. Jimmy Carter did this? That's fucking dope, man. God damn it. The U.S. government and UFOs. Holy shit. What? Project Blue Book files should contact National Archives Public Affairs Office. Oh, man, dude. NASA was directed by Congress to begin a detailed search for artificial radio signals from other civilizations under the, under the NASA towards other planetary systems. Tops. High Resolution Microwave Survey, HRMS program, also known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Project. Congress directed NASA to end the project in 1993, citing pressures on the U.S. federal budget. The HRMS had not detected any confirmed signal before it was stopped. However, similar work will continue in a more limited manner through efforts of private groups and through academic institutions. The search for e oh, the City Institute in Mountain View, California, effectively replaced the government project. Borrowing the signal processing system from NASA, the SETI Institute is a non-profit cooperation conducting research in a manner of fields including all science and technology aspects of astronomy and planetary sciences, chemical evolution, the origin of life, biological evolution. Oh, okay, so that's a, this is just a U.S. and its fucking relation to Ayla Mounds. Uh, Roswell press releases. Oh, the alien autopsy info. Oh, man, dude, look at that. Oh, here's some hot pictures right here. Guarantee you this is fake as fuck. Um, prepare yourself for a shock. So far, this does not appear to be a hoax. If it is a hoax, it's an incredibly elaborate one. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, man. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure the, uh, Roswell autopsy was, uh, quite legit. So this, apparently this is a UFO sighted over Belgium. Oh, it's a, it's a, fa it's a, it's a file, so I'm not going to look through that. Did the shuttle encounter aliens? Did they? I don't think so. No, it's gonna fucking take too long. Uh, the Shadowlands collage of UFO pictures. Oh boys, look at that. That, that over there. Hold on, let me just zoom into this. That is an alien found in Japan. <laughs> Composite sketch of alien. <laughs> Mexico sighting. Oh, you look at that, ladies and gentlemen, that pixel there. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's another Mexico sighting. They got six... Six pixels to show you. You see that? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what represents... Get this. A craft. That, that is the closest thing to a craft, and I'm pretty sure that's fake. Um, UFO pick taken to the zoo. Yeah. Oh, silver disc UFO. Look at that. Nellis AF... You know, you know what honestly, like, spouts it as wrong, though, if you really think about it? Is, why the fuck... Would a UFO even look like that? Why does every UFO look the same? You think aliens would typically, like, ditch the saucer design? Like, is that, like, the only space travel vehicle design that has ever created? Like, holy shit, you think they have a patent or something, right? Like, the first, like, alien company that made that? But no, everyone fucking does it. Everyone does it. Apparently, that, that is an alien body in Japan. Why that's not a bigger story, I don't know. I don't know. Fucking hell, man. What is this? When pilots see a UFO. 
Okay, I'm not going to read that. UFO references in the Bible. All right, that's, that's interesting. I'll, I'll read that somewhere. You know what? After the UFO, let's just see sea serpents to quell all our mysteries. Yes, these are these are sea serpents, and we need more and more stuff. Are we going to find uh, Nessie in here? Well, apparently, there's like a bunch, but the pictures are not loading for some reason. What are the mysteries and the unknown? Uh, Shadowlands, Bigfoot, uh, they got ghosts. We've seen that. Spontaneous human combustion. Who are the men in black? Is this the face of Jesus Christ? Atlantis, Noah's Ark, angels? All right, you know what? You know what? Obviously, I'm going to be here for like more than what I intend to be. So I'm going to end that this session right here. We might return to this later on to see what the fuck exactly this all is about. With that being said, let's see what's next in our search on the deep web. All right, everyone, this is our deep web video for uh, this week. Um, I've come across something. I don't know what it is, but uh, looking at the time code, it is two minutes and five seconds long. Um, I have, of course, changed the name and I have, of course, re-encoded whatever, whatever the heck it was. For a smoother playback, but that being said, let us see what is in this video this week. Let's hit play. Oh, nice 3D rendering, man. Uh, <laughs> what? Aí, não falei que ele ia falar I don't know if it's okay. What? I love how they have to put the mixtape for secret now. What the fuck is this? I love how they have to put the fucking like secret. Okay. Now, how are you feeling? Down. You feeling okay? You feel well? Do you want to get you something? Do you want a glass of water? We're not really getting anywhere, are we, at the moment? Are you seeing something? Is there something you see over there? What do you see there, Johnny? Yeah. What's this about Mama? Is this your mother? Nana. Nana. What's the matter? Do you want Mama to come in? <laughs> Don't breathe like that. It'll make you feel really strange. I'm with you. Nothing's going to happen. Just calm down. Now. Just try to relax. Try and keep calm. Don't be tense. Just relax. You are getting a bit stressed out at the moment. Would you mind if I gave you an injection or something like that to make you calm? Should we try doing that? It won't hurt you at all. It's like a little bee still. Okay, um... First of all, that was fucking... Oh, wait a second. It completely fucking glitched out. That was... That was most definitely fake as all fuck. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, I'm pretty sure that first part was definitely a recording over there, and that second part, I'm sure that was an alien, I'm sure that's probably some fucking independent art project, because if this shit was a secret NSA video, or a NASA video or whatever, um, it wouldn't be so fucking secret anymore if it had the little bit of inkling of the truth been built into it. My issue, well... I, I don't I don't really know what to say. I have no idea what to say about this. Um, as far as the whole video goes, it has like two parts and then one where it drops a mixtape. But over here, this guy just says like "mama," and I'm not gonna be I'm I'm not gonna lie here. If this is a fake video or this is an alien one, uh, bravo! It's actually really fucking creepy. Um, I gotta say, this is actually up there in, I think, the creepiest kind of video that I've seen. Um, especially when this guy loses his shit towards the end. Like, this whole, like, episode of him staring at the camera and then doing this, like, it, it honestly fucking creeps me the fuck out. Just, like, thinking and, like, looking at this fucking, like, imagery right now, dude. Because I don't know what the fuck happens at the end. And this guy's just all calm and collected. Like, that's, like, inject you. Um, I, I, if this is real... Congratulations, we found an actual Elamau and a very weird looking one, but I don't think so, because it looks really, really, really humanoid. 
Um, and that, that's not like saying that an alien can't be humanoid, but this is just like right there, except it's got like a super enlarged head. B, this might actually be like a real video, but it's not an alien video. It's probably like something else. Like this might just be like a fucking person. I don't know. Or C, this was probably from some obscure movie or something like that that's passed off on the deep web as a deep web, like, you know, found footage sort of thing. Or D, it's completely fucking fake. I have no idea, dude. I'm I'm leaning towards the more fake side. But let me tell you, as a whole, even if it's real or fake, it's weird as fucking hell. That being said, man, holy shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back the fuck out of this one. We've reached the end of our uh, Deep Web episode. I've been recording for oof, almost three hours here, damn. Um, but uh, we've seen quite a fair bit of stuff. We've seen, uh, from the beginning, we've seen some zombie Haitians. We've seen uh, <laughs> the porn movement, I guess you could say. Um, we've seen a fair bit of other stuff, especially on the Hitler's escape from the fucking, with, with like federal documents on that, which is actually really weird now that I'm like re reminiscing on that whole topic. And then we've seen, you know, some other creepy stuff and all that good, and, and all the stuff we generally see on the deep web, newer, newer stuff. Um, definitely a more diverse episode, you know, where we weren't locked necessarily into a theme. We saw, you know, government secrets. We saw some, you know, paranormal, some, you know, alien stuff. And that being said, I did overall enjoy it. Um, finding stuff on the deep web is, of course, hard. You know, there's a lot of preparation that has to go around into it. And, you know, throughout, obviously throughout the week when I film these, I go through, you know, like a research phase sort of every night before I actually sit down and film one. Um, you know, 50% of the time looking at those videos or looking at the fucking, you know, content that I initially research out may not even work because those websites may be down or, you know, they may be fake entirely. So, you know, you go through that curating process and, uh, you know, obviously as this episode goes up, it's going to be another research phase for the Deep Web series and uh, we'll see what we find out next week. But for this week, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like what you saw. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Dislike it if you dislike it or drop my phone. Let me know what deep websites you want to go to. All you have to do is send me an email, send me a YouTube message with an onion link or something you want me to look up into, and I'll do it. I absolutely promise on that 100% if it you know turns out to be legit and if I can actually access it at that point in time. That being said, uh, this is me, Mudahar. Uh, this has been Deep Web Exploration Episode 20. I am out. Mm -hmm.